10 things to know before you go to Hollywood Boulevard. I'm Chris, this is Topher, and today I'm joined by a special guest. Ernest from Tripistu. Thank you, Chris, for uh, letting me join you today. Absolutely. And so today we're going to tell you everything you need to know about visiting Hollywood Boulevard. And Ernest doesn't actually live that far from here, so he's going to give you some local knowledge about Hollywood Boulevard. The first thing to know before you go to Hollywood Boulevard is that it's really not as nice as you think it is. I guarantee you've seen Hollywood Boulevard on the Oscars, in the movies, it looks glamorous, it looks glitzy. It is not. And, and you might be looking at the video saying, Chris, it looks pretty nice. We are starting at the nicest part of Hollywood. It's full of a lot of cheap, tacky souvenir stores, low budget restaurants, street performing entertainers. We'll talk more about them later. Uh, and so just be prepared for a little bit of grit when you come to Hollywood. Absolutely. And, and Hollywood is just one of those places where it's so big and people just think, oh, Hollywood is just a small town, but it's huge. And there's so many little hidden gems all over the place. If you want to see more of Hollywood, you got to escape the main street here and actually look around. But today we're going to focus on, today, on Hollywood Boulevard and we'll see where it takes us. So the second thing you should know about Hollywood is that you should park at the Hollywood Highland Mall. This place has a ton of parking and you can get validation for most of the businesses in the area. Also, the maximum is $17, so you won't end up spending an arm and leg just for parking. So you might be inclined to think you're smarter than Ernest and say, I'm not going to take his advice. I'm going to park at a parking meter. There's tons of street parking around Hollywood. You're right, there is tons of street parking around Hollywood, but don't do it because the signs around here and the parking restrictions are crazy. I'm going to show you this sign right here. This is right now in front of the Dolby Theater. There's this sign. This is no parking on Saturdays, no parking on Sundays, tour bus parking from 8 to 10, and something else that's a five-minute limit. I mean, you have to decode all those things just park in the parking structure of Hollywood and Highland and don't worry that your car is either going to be towed or ticketed when you get back. And they do tow cars here if you're really in a big no parking zone. The third thing to know before you go to Hollywood Boulevard is about the subway. Yes, Los Angeles has a subway and it's one of the best ways to get to Hollywood. Better than driving because you won't sit in the traffic. Best of all, it's $1.75 per ride. And uh, there's three stops on Hollywood Boulevard. Ernest, what's the best ones to get here? I think the best one is either Hollywood and Vine or Hollywood and Highland. So definitely check those two out. Yeah, Hollywood and Vine, it'll bring you to the Pantages Theater. So if you're seeing a show there or where we started, that'll be Hollywood and Highland. Absolutely. There's also Universal Studios Hollywood stop on the red line. That's not Hollywood at all. But Ernest, do you recommend Universal Studios Hollywood? Do you like it? I think it's a cool place. I mean, it's uh, definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen it before. Um, it's definitely a, a big tourist attraction here in LA, so yeah, definitely worth checking out. Well, we'll talk about Universal Studios in another number. The fourth thing to know is to take a photo with a street performer. Unfortunately, these guys are not here out of the kindness of their hearts. They will expect some compensation if you take a photo with them, and they will be a little bit forceful. And so we're not telling you to not take photos with them, just so we're clear. They are here to make money, and sometimes people will be happy to take a photo with Chewbacca, who's in the background. Just know they do expect some money after you take that photo. It's probably best to negotiate the price up front so that you're not caught shocked when they say, that'll be $10. Speaking of pictures and souvenir stores, I know earlier I said the souvenir stores here are pretty crappy. If you're gonna come into one, come into this one. It's on the corner of Hollywood and Orange Boulevard, right next to Madame Tussauds wax museum it's really cool it looks neat and you can come in and take a picture here with the predator for free good deal the fifth thing to know before you go to hollywood boulevard is about the food most of the food you're going to stumble on on hollywood boulevard is pretty mediocre and overpriced but if you want some better options that are also cheap check out the deck on top of the hollywood and highland mall it's on the top floor it's a food court with a few cheap eats options pokenometry really good they do good poke bowls or go one block over to sunset sunset boulevard there's an in and out burger that is the busiest in and out burger in all of the u.s but what if you want higher and nicer options ernest well yeah if you're looking for something a little bit more fancy like a sit down type place I definitely recommend doing a Yelp search in advance just to make sure you're probably not going to stumble across something just by walking down the street. And you can always check out our other video, which is the 10 things to do in Hollywood, where we cover a couple of the restaurants in more detail. The next thing to know about Hollywood is making movies. Ironically, they're not made in Hollywood anymore. They're actually made in Burbank. 
Yeah, that's where most of the major studios are. And if you want to see Hollywood productions, you'll pretty much have to do a studio tour. Warner Brothers, Paramount Pictures, Universal Studios all do studio tours, so you can check those out. If you're in Hollywood, the closest thing you can do to experience motion pictures is take a tour of the Dolby Theater. If you are planning to take a tour of the Dolby Theater, buy those tickets when you get here first because they're timed tickets and then plan your day around that. And you can always go, I guess, to Universal Studios from the metro station as well. Yeah, that's an easy way to get there. And it the goes right here on the subway. One stop from, two stops from Hollywood and Highland to Universal Studios. The seventh thing to know is about the Hollywood sign. You can see it behind us right there. You actually can't see it many places on Hollywood Boulevard. We had to come in front of this vacant lot to shoot this scene. We saw it because a tour bus stopped and was taking pictures of this lot. Well, of the sign. Another great place to see the sign is at the Hollywood Highland Mall on the third or fourth floor. You can see it from there. But that sign, it didn't initially just say Hollywood. It said Hollywood Land and it was built to originally advertise like a real estate area. And then in the 40s, they changed it to just say Hollywood. It's been there ever since. I think what's funny too is that if you try to get to the Hollywood sign and you put it in Google Maps, it's going to take you to the observatory. It's really hard to get to there. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that the people there, they just don't want you driving to their neighborhoods. So actually what we recommend if you want to go see the Hollywood sign, is to hike to the tree which is on the left side of the sign. It's this tree called the Wisdom Tree. If you hike up there, you can actually hike across to the Hollywood sign and get a good look at it. The eighth thing to know about Hollywood are the stars. The stars are actually known as the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And actually, in order to get a star, you can actually get it in five different categories. So let's take a look at those categories. If you take a look at this star, it shows all five of them. Here we have movies. Stars can earn them in television. They can earn them in radio. They can earn them in recording. And the newest one, they can earn them in live performance or theater. The ninth thing to know before you go to Hollywood Boulevard, it's a little more about the stars. These stars, they're like awards and they're given for somebody receiving a certain amount of recognition, but they're not free. Actually, these stars have to be paid for and they have to be maintained. Ernest, how much do you think these things cost? I've heard they cost about thirty to forty thousand dollars. So we should we should totally get one, I think. Yeah, we, to I, we should. Totally get we one. totally should. Yeah. And so somebody has to sponsor people. And so if you think Ernest and Chris and Topher should get a star, put in the Hollywood. We could totally get that sixth category done for YouTubers. The thing thing to know about Hollywood is that celebrities can have multiple stars. For example, we talked about earlier that some stars might have one for a movie or for music. Actually, you can have multiple ones. And there are some stars that have the same name in different categories. For example, Michael Jackson appears twice on the Walk of Fame, but it actually is a different Michael Jackson. And the most admirable star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Gene Autry. Gene has stars in all of the categories. Five stars for Gene Autry. And right here, we're at Jennifer Lopez's star, which is the 2,500 star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Well, hey, we hope you enjoyed this video. And there's one more thing to know. We've got more videos. We did a things to do video. You'll find the link in the description below. Or if you want to see more from Ernest, check out his channel over at Trip Ernest, it's been great doing this video with you. Thank you, Chris. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Great doing this with you.